Now we want to pivot to this topic of the prevalence, the nature of prevalence and distribution of life in this expanding universe, but there could also be multiple universes. And if we turn now to the Bhagavad Gita, and in the Bhagavad Gita, it shows that the Supreme Divinity is ascribed as the Lord of all the worlds. And this noble warrior, Arjun, he sees all these different beings, life forms, all the different worlds and universes, perhaps even multiple universes, in constant encapsulated within the very essence and being of the divinity, which can take on a human form, a fierce manifestation, and a serene form. So the idea of multiple universes or even life in this expanding universe or, or a multiverse, those are all compatible. So the whole point it's clear in the scripture, sacred scripture, that the creation of God is not limited even to, not limited to the planet Earth. Not even one single expands, expanding, expansive universe. There could be, there could well be civilizations, intelligent life, distributed across the existing universe or other universes which may or may not ever meet due to the, the natural laws of physics. So it's, a, it's an interesting reflection that if you think about it spiritually, there's no conflict with science and the, and the, and the creation of Lord Krishna. All the different planets, worlds, fiery worlds, worlds that sustain life, the, the earth, the planets, the universe, multiple universes could even be preserved, maintained, created, and constantly sustained, evolving through the mind and will of the divinity. Just food for thought.